Well, Chris, we are standing right in front of the area where that crash happened. You can see a memorial now growing tonight with candles, flowers and other mementos uh, recognizing and memorializing that young woman left by family and friends who say she was taken much too soon and a crash they believe was preventable. A warning that that video of that crash is hard to watch. With her two year old son in the back seat, 25 year old Carla Ochoa is T bone while pulling out of the parking lot of her family owned thrift store. The impact took her life. My sister was special, like she left her two year old. He was in the accident as well. The accident that took my sister's life. The victim's sister, Anna. Um, she was very sweet, understanding, caring, funny. Where the pieces of broken glass still lie from that deadly crash, family and friends remember the young woman who is known for her big smile, original laugh, and most of all for being a good mother to her son, Noah. She did everything for him. She worked hard to provide everything for him. Family members say the intersection at Franklin Boulevard and 21st Avenue often sees speeders and those who run red lights, though we don't know in this situation whether the driver was speeding or ran a red light. The driver of the pickup truck remained on the scene and was not seriously injured. Sacramento police haven't announced charges or named that driver. Family members say he was going too fast and they argue the crash was avoidable. He should be held accountable for his actions. Now, as you saw in that video, in that interview with the victim's sister, Anna, the two year old Noah, he is doing physically well tonight, although he's certainly going to be dealing with the loss of his mother for quite some time emotionally. Uh, meanwhile, we did reach out to the Sacramento Police Department who say the investigation into this case, it's ongoing and they're not releasing any more information on that case tonight.